People, I'm warning you, stop going to Facebook, Instagram, Tinder, social media, period. Meeting people online, going to their house, eating and drinking their food. If you keep doing that, you might wake up to somebody cutting your organs out. It's a billion dollar business if you didn't know. This woman met this guy off a dating site. She was head over heels for the guy. This guy promised her the moon and the stars. This guy was very wealthy. He had a big house, a nice car, and plenty of money. They talked for three months before they ever went on a date. After three months, they went on two dates before he was able to convince her to come to his house. He told her he was a professional chef and he was going to prepare her the best dinner she ever had. She was excited because she really liked the guy. The guy was rich, had a big house, nice car. The guy was even attractive. Now, even though they talked for three months and went on two dates before she went to the man house, when she went to the man house, you can tell she was still very nervous because she took several pictures of the man house when she was pulling up for her safety. When she went to the man house, he cooked her a beautiful dinner, just as he promised. This woman was very excited. She even snuck and took several pictures of the inside of his house. This man house looked like a celebrity crib. She enjoyed her night so much she couldn't wait to get home to share the pictures and her experience with her family and friends. But when she was getting ready to leave, she noticed she was getting very drowsy and tired. And then the unthinkable happened. She blacked out. When she got to the man's house, she took a picture of his house, posted on Facebook. When she got in his house and seen the inside of his house, she posted on Facebook. When she was about to eat, she took a picture of the food and posted on Facebook. When she was on the man's couch and she was tired, she was posting on Facebook. The inside of the man house was the last thing she posted on Facebook. No one never heard from her again until the police found a body about three miles from his house. The body was missing the head and the legs, and they don't know if the body was burned or what happened to the body, but they couldn't identify her. Men and women meet people on social media on a daily basis, and you think these people want you. Not everybody wants you for the same reason. Some people just want your organs. It's a billion dollar business. 600,000 people go missing every year in America without a trace. And they only find 4,000 of them people and they can't even identify the bodies. Tell me, where's them people at? Why do 600,000 people go missing every year and they can't find them? The only reason the police found this man that took this woman life is because she took a hundred pictures. She had pictures of his house, inside his house. But 99% of the time, y'all not taking pictures of no one house posting on Facebook while you on a date. A lot of people just come up missing. And it's a mystery. People don't have a clue what happened to them. Most people that go missing is never found. And these criminals that run these businesses, they know that. They know they can take your organs, do away with your body and no one won't even look for you. So do yourself a favor and think twice before you go to meeting people off of these dating sites. Someone promising you the moon and the stars and you go to their house and you just another missing person. And this message is to men and women. Women do the same thing. You go to their house, slip something in your drink. Next thing you know, somebody is trying to chop your body up. Be careful, ladies and gentlemen.